Hey guys, what's up? It's Patrick here, and today bringing you guys episode 4 of my brand new Undefeated series. So we're sitting at 2,568 cups, only 32 away from hitting Master League, and uh, yeah, we should be able to have some good battles today. I think we'll probably be attacking Town Hall 10s and Town Hall 9s, so same attacks as the last episode, and let's go ahead and get right into them. And I'm going to be honest with this first raid, this was the first time I've been nervous about a raid in a really long time. Like, we've had some close clan wars, never really got nervous about it. I think the last time I was nervous about a raid was like the very first clan war battle, and that's because I actually forgot to bring all my troops. Not going to talk about that. That one was a huge failure. Uh, but yeah, this first base right here, I started I started thinking, wow, I'm attacking with Barbarian Archer. This is an army composition only aimed at getting 50%. I'm not really going for the Town Hall, so I don't have that just in case like I get 30% and I can still shoot the Town Hall down. Um, for some reason, when I was doing this, I was like, wow, I really don't want to screw up and lose on the fourth episode. And yeah, let's see exactly how it went down. So this one's only trying, I'm only trying to get 50% with this base or with this raid and just try to attack the buildings on the outside. And this base right here probably probably isn't even the perfect base that I'm supposed to attack. It does have a lot of stuff away from the core of the base, but as you can see, this guy does have a ton of walls, so it's not super easy to get to the gold mines and elixir pumps and stuff like that. Uh, but let's see exactly how we can fare. I'm at 37%. I did bring a heal spell, and it actually worked out pretty well right here. I'm not sure if heal spell exa is exactly what you're supposed to bring. Maybe a jump spell probably would have been better, uh, but we're at 43%, and I still have my heroes left just in case things get a little bit crazy. So at this point, there is a wizard tower and a mortar right there, so that's going to start chunking through the rest of my infantry. Going to spam a couple more barbarians, and I'll probably have to use my archer queen just to finish off this raid. Um, am getting to that mortar. Looks like the mortar is actually going to go down, and I can drop my kick queen on the very bottom activate her ability and wrap it up for the 50%. So really glad we didn't fail with Barch. Probably not my favorite strategy to use when I'm doing a push like this where I can't lose because say if I run into a lot of giant bombs, maybe the clan castle troops just keep taking me out over and over. It's really not as safe as something like go wee wee or go wipe. Um, so yeah, don't know exactly how many times I'm going to use that. Still going to try to switch things up and let's move on to this next raid. So this one right here is sort of a mix between a Go Wee Wee and a Go Wipe. You guys have seen me use this a lot before. And I think we should have a lot of success against this base. I didn't bring a jump spell, and I actually really like bringing jump spells. A lot of people don't use jump spells, but to me, they're actually super, super effective because... When they came out and when they did, like, the new and improved jump spell and people sort of just laughed at them, they have a... They're a little bit different than just like bringing wall breakers because jump spells can go anywhere. If you have your wall breaker AI and you go against certain bases that have like crazy compartment designs, you can actually drop one jump spell and save yourself like 12 to 15 wall breakers. And in my opinion, that's actually pretty powerful because you can use those extra spots to bring another P.E.K.K.A. You can use it to bring a lot more wizards or something like that, as well as it opens up certain parts of the base that you're usually not able to get to. So I actually didn't bring it for this raid because it actually wasn't necessary. Um, but jump spells are definitely underrated in Clash of Clans. Sort of just had to throw that out there. I really like using jump spells and I really like seeing when people use those. I know one of my clanmates, Steve, I've shown you guys a lot of his replays in Clash Mailbags where he'll use those with giants against like Town Hall tens and end up getting two stars super effective against certain bases and yeah this raid worked out pretty well 17 cups or trophies a lot of people are saying why do you say cups are you like from the uk or something like that but i sort of just go back and forth between cups or trophies i usually say, i think i said trophies for like the first year and a half of playing clash but someone started saying cups and then i started saying it um so yeah, you guys can let me know in the comment section below whether you guys say cups or trophies. So for this raid here, definitely bringing back the jump spells like I just said. I'm actually going to be using a giant healer, and I definitely wanted to make sure I was attacking a Town Hall 9. If I use giant healer against a Town Hall 10, who knows what could happen, but I think for this one we should be okay. And I'm going to show you guys exactly why I like using these jump spells. So I only brought 11 wall breakers. If I, was using, if I wasn't using jump spells, I'd probably want something like 20. But I'm going to use the wall breakers to break through that first section. They're going to break through the second section. But you can see there's a lot of compartments in the center that I can sort of just bypass by using a jump spell. So rage spell is going down. I'm jumping the jump spell, and that actually covers up four intersections of the base. So instead of having to drop two wall breakers on all four intersections and praying that they don't get blown up, one jump spell will get the job done for me, and this one should work out pretty well. Well. So troops are jumping into the center. Obviously, my king's doing work. Healers doing an okay job. Uh, they're sort of healing groups here and there. Looks like a seeking air mine actually took care of my last healer. So no more heals. Gonna have to focus on the jump spell to help me through the rest of the base. 
so again that second jump spell i couldn't reach that spot with wall breakers if i drop wall breakers they would go for those different intersections not even close to that area but since i can use that jump spell right there gonna work out pretty well queen shooting a wall as usual that is her preferred target and yeah, not exactly sure if we're going to be able to get 100% on this base. I do have my heroes. Those guys are super powerful. And actually, since my king was able to jump over that wall and nothing else really is really attacking besides that cannon, since there's only three defenses left on the left-hand side, I think we actually might be good. So I only thought we were going to get two stars, but since... Um, I didn't have to break through that wall since I do actually have a couple of giants left. Those guys should be able to tank for a little bit. Plus, my king still is at half health and my queen's at half health. Uh, I think we're going to be fine for the rest of this raid. So fast forwarding a bit, queen's going to shoot down that cannon. King might go down in the end, but the queen actually ends up saving him. 100% on the raid, 24 cups. Definitely not that bad at all. So pretty good raid. Again, our bonus is up to a, a 110,000 overall. Way better than when we started where it was maybe like uh, 5,500 or something like that. Uh, but yeah pretty good raids today and let's go ahead and head back to base so those raids got us to master league only did three today that puts us at 2618 trophies go ahead and check it out on the trophy i guess indicator on the top left or the trophy icon uh but yeah things are pretty good and we're making a lot of progress towards the champions league so raids have been pretty easy so far i did get nervous on that barbarian archer just because sort of a crazy strategy that can go wrong sometimes it's not 100 percent in my eyes like go wee wee and go wipe r against a lot of lower level bases uh but yeah things are looking pretty good and we're probably going to start running into some trouble soon so I, I expect to be attacking some maxed out bases once we hit master one we'll probably still have some town hall nines and a low town hall tens in master three and master two but yeah Hope you guys are enjoying the series, and I will see you guys on the next episode. Peace out.